fascinating research that's been conducted into spatial toys. If you take a child, and you know when they're really young, you can't tell whether they're boys or girls, can you? You generally make a punt, you take a guess at gender based upon what they're wearing. Uh, and it, that's increasingly difficult these days as well. Or when they get a tiny bit older and their hair has grown long or something. So these are old labels that are obviously arbitrary, but this is this is the world we inhabit. If you put a baby in clothes that are masculine and then give that baby to another adult and give them a toy box, they will reach for the toys that are more spatially aware. They, they, and this is us. This is the grown-ups doing this without realising it. This is social conditioning. We will reach for the toys that are more spatially aware, and that is that engenders more typically masculine traits. It creates a culture of boys who feel conditioned. This is research at Aston University by a neuroscientist called Gina Rippon to 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 adopt these traits. Um, so Tetris, for example, is spatially aware, and it's why when you get to school. There become differences in how you perform at mathematics. The idea that some toys are for boys and some toys are for girls, and this is where I do see the potential for debate, is I'm going to use the word unhealthy. Okay? And I want to hear from you about your experiences. 0345 on either... Rejecting that idea, rejecting the suggestion that the idea of having toys that are specifically for boys and toys that are specifically are for girls is unhealthy. Tell me why it isn't unhealthy on 03456060973. And just as interestingly, perhaps, hopefully, I'd love to hear about what happens. And I want this to cover all ages. So if your if your little baby is 59 now but when he was five he really wanted to play with dollies rather than with guns or cars what was that like and and then perhaps we can compare it to what it's like now do we still have problems with this do we need shops to insist and this is happening in california so it's not happening here yet but it's happened in some clothing departments hasn't it where they, they've brought in gender neutral stuff I, I guess in a very long-winded way, I'm saying, what on earth is wrong with gender-neutral gear? Mm -hmm. 